course, everybody's got their eye on the holidays right now, thinking about where to go for Thanksgiving and how we're going to get there and the weather, of course. Yeah. Right, and what's the weather going to be like when we go outside to burn off that <laughs> pumpkin pie? <laughs> uh, you know what, if you're already thinking ahead to burning off those mm -hmm. calories, the end half of Thanksgiving Day looks better than the start. Okay. Okay. So we'll have an early look at the timeline for rain <laughs> chances. Just in case you're doing some traveling or you've got family or friends traveling the next couple of days, I want to give you a large view of Future Track 13. Uh, the only trouble spot the next 24 hours it could be the Pacific Northwest flying into Seattle or Portland. They've got some rain and higher elevation snow out west. However, we're tracking a powerful cold front that will start to get going in the midsection of the country come Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon and evening. Strong winds may impact St. Louis, Indianapolis, Detroit, and those busy airports in Chicago might be enough for some weather related delays. Then into Thanksgiving Day, we've got rain from Detroit through central Indiana into St. Louis and in between Dallas and Houston before this weather system moves toward the east coast as we head into Friday. Quiet view over downtown Indianapolis. It's a cold view as well. Winds are out of the west northwest at 8 and we currently have clear skies and 30 degrees with dew point sitting in the upper teens and an indication on how low the lows will go. Upper teens and low 20s first thing tomorrow morning. 37, 25 your numbers from today and definitely colder than the averages of 33 and 49. Sunshine is back tomorrow, but still colder than where we should be. 21 at 8 a.m., 39 at noon. Highs tomorrow in the low 40s. We're back close to where we should be in the low 50s on Wednesday afternoon. A mainly cloudy day, windy and milder. Looking ahead to the holiday on Thursday, forecasting 45 degrees with some rain around early in the day may mix with a few flakes of snow before coming to an end. All associated with that powerful cold front I mentioned. And for us, the first impact will be those gusty winds. This is the wind forecast Wednesday at 4 p.m. We'll stop this early evening, 8 p.m. We've got wind potential gusting 40, 45 miles per hour or higher. The wind gusts move into the eastern part of the state early Thursday. Rain arrives for all of us Thursday morning. This is future track 13 that will take us into Thursday, 7 a.m. Still have some rain mixed showers around through early afternoon. Then it does come to an end if you want to burn those uh, turkey calories late in the day on Thursday. Friday looks good as we kick off the holidays. Downtown Indianapolis, 36 degrees, a few flurries around. So as you make your plans, plan around a soggy holiday and then turning colder for Friday and the rest of the weekend.